What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with the Black and White series Reshiram box. So just recently on the channel we opened up the Zekrom box that kind of goes in like this trio boxes that they released in the early Black and White series stages. Um, but so yeah, this, this box comes with a figure, a promo and four boost packs. So I'm just going to quickly get this shrink wrap off before we go through everything and let's have a look at the packaging so it says just there let's let's move this camera just a little bit forwards here it just says there that it includes one brand new restaurant figure for black and white series booster packs uh pokemon ccg online code cards and once specially selected foil restaurant promo card that was really weirdly well, like worded the, the promo looks really good might i say but let's have a quick look on the back of the packaging as well so it just says restaurant box the vast white pokemon is your legendary ally in the pokemon ccg restaurant box so feel free to pause and have a read for that one i'll get that so it's out of my like little head just there and i'll just poke myself in the face but um pause and have a read of that one if you guys would like there's the contents as well but with that said, let's get straight into this box. So I believe this was released in 2011. So that is pretty wild. But let's open this up. And take a look at everything. Let's assess everything. There we go. Oh, the plastic is a little bit ripped there. Oh no, that's weird. I don't think it's supposed to come already ripped. I'm st I think I'm supposed to do that. But um, there is the code card for the restaurant box hopefully you guys get something nice from that one pretty cool it's got a nice little design on the back there throw that one just up the back there right in front of steven there's the four boost packs these packs feel pretty hefty hey they feel pretty heavy but once again we've got the nice little stand to go with the figure which is pretty cool but before we go into that let's have a look at this promo card so let's get this camera all nice and uh, all nice and centered up here there we go so here's the promo. So we've got Reshiram. It's got 130 HP with Outrage and Blue Flare. But yeah, it's a very fine holo once again. I don't know. The holo foil, it's there, but it's just so hard to tell. But um, yeah, it's a very nice looking art. I, can, I really love that art. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that art. But let's throw that one up the back. And let's have a look at this figure. So let's figure, figure this out, if you know what I'm saying if you know what I'm saying. But I think it goes like that. There we go. Wow, this figure is huge, might I say. It is massive. But I think this one would definitely have to be my favorite out of the two figures. Just look at this thing. It is epic. Look at the stance. I love how it sits on the stand as well. It's such a perfect pose. But let's do a full 360. Even the back just looks good. Like, check the wings. That is amazing. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that figure as well. But let's throw that one up the back, nice and center stage there, because that is epic. Wow. I really like that figure. But um, then we've got the four booster packs. So it looks like we have one of each pack art from Emerging Powers. So we got the Cobalion, Braviary, Tornadus, and Darmanitan. Darmanitan. Anyway, let's get straight into these packs. They feel really thick for some reason. I think that's just how Emerging Powers packs were. But um, let's go and see what we can get. There's a lot of cards that I can't even remember that are in Emerging Powers. So hopefully we can get something that is just kind of... um, The art is just a little bit jaw-dropping, if you know what I'm saying. Just makes me just appreciate it. But we've got a Joltik to kick it off. It's got 40 HP with Gnaw. We've got a Gothita. A Purloin, Cottony, Panpour, A Boldor, Lilligant, Gotharita, A Verizion. I know that one's a reverse rare for sure, because that is definitely a mascot of the set. Um, it's got Giga Drain and Sacred Sword. That's pretty cool. And A Swoobat regular rare. So nothing too, too crazy there. We'll throw Verizion up the back. But yeah, Swoobat's got 90 HP with Psy Shot and Fat Sound. That sound. That is interesting. That P-H-A-T sound. But we got Braviary in the next pack art. Very interesting choices of pack art, in my opinion. Um, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite pack art is out of the four. So you got um, 
Once again, we got Cabalion, you got Braviary, you got Tornadus, and you've got Darmanitan. So let's show that one off. There you go. And also, the coat cards look pretty wild too. I love the colors on those ones. But let's go. Three and two. And we've got a Panpaw, Sawaddle, a Clink, Ferroseed, Basculin, Swadloon, a Zorua. That's pretty cool. I love that art. That looks pretty pretty sweet. We got Crushing Hammer, a Sigalith. I think that one's just an uncommon, yeah, with Reflect and Telekinesis. That's pretty cool. And Ooh. 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 That's pretty cool. That is pretty wild. Thunderous actually has like a texture over itself. That is... Wow. <laughs> we got a Thunderous full art. It's not an EX obviously as you guys can see in the title there. There's no EX stamp. But it's got 110 HP with charge and Disaster Vault. That was shocking. That was shocking. I, I don't know if you guys could tell by my reaction. I was kind of just like... What? What? But that card looks pretty cool, and I'm very, um, very intrigued by how this yellow part here, it's just like a normal EX kind of texture to it, but then over Thunderous itself, there's like a wrinkly, I don't know if you guys can catch that on cam, like a wrinkly texture that goes over it, which feels pretty wild. But that's not a bad pull, you guys. That's probably one of the best pulls you can get from the set, so I'm pretty pleased with that. It is like minty minty too. But that's that's cool. That is cool. Let me know in the comment section below about that as well. I know I've asked you guys to let me know about a lot of things in the comment section below this video, but there is just so much to talk about. This, this box has been pretty, pretty cool. But let's get on to the third pack. That card is wild. It looks so much better in person than it does in the scans. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. But we've got a Gothita, a Drillba, Panseer, Dealing, Sawaddle, a Crocorock, Pokemon Catcher, Clang, a Whimsicott. That one is just a reverse uncommon with Helping Hand and Cotton Guard. And a Monkey. we got a Monkey. It's got 90 HP with Water's Power and Flamethrower. Not a bad art, in like in my opinion. It's still, it's it, it is a monkey, but let's let's appreciate the art just for a moment. It's pretty cool. Simi is kind of just like walking through like the edge of like a forest kind of thing. But let's let's finish it off. Hopefully on some power with the Tornadoes pack art. I wonder what else this box has in store for us. Hopefully it has something else in store for us. I hope so. But um, there is a code. That is the final code from the box as well. Let's go. Final pack, so we got Pants here, just followed up by the uh, Simi here. we got Pants here. We've got a Dealing, a Sawaddle, Minchino, Cupchu, Gotharita, a Ferrothorn, Throw, Pants here Reverse, so Reverse is exactly the same as what we started with, that's interesting. And the final card from this restaurant box is... A Terrakion Hollow. I will take that. That is a quick quick spoiler here, you guys. We pulled this one from the Zekrom box, so that's pretty crazy. I'm pretty pleased with that. I like this card, and I'm glad to have two of them now. Definitely no, no complaints from me there. But let's go that, and then that. So let's have a quick little recap here. So, you get the freebie promo, which is pretty cool. It is a hollow. It's just very slight. You can barely see it. Um, but the art is amazing on that card. Then we've got a Verizion Reverse Rare, which is pretty cool as well. Not a bad card. We've got the Terrakion Hollow that we just got from the last pack, which is pretty cool. It's got Bottle Crush and Sacred Sword. And the Epic Pull, I guess you could say, from the box would definitely have to be this Thunderous Full Art, which really surprised me. I was really intrigued about how the um, card is double double textured. It's really cool. Let me know in the comment section below about that, what you think about this Thunderous card and how it's textured and just the art in general. And then also we cannot forget to appreciate this figure because this figure looks amazing. Like look at that, 
stance and everything. I just love this figure. I don't know what I want to do with it, but um, it just looks so cool. Well, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that figure. And with that said, if you guys enjoyed today's opening, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in another one of my Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.